three man coke. We sent out an SOS call. It was a quarter past four in the morning when the storm broke our second anchor line. Four months at sea, four months of calm seas to be pounded in the shallows off the tip of Montauk Point. I don't think I've ever heard this song. They call them rogues. They travel fast and alone. 100 foot faces of God's good ocean gone wrong. And what they call love is a risk. Because you will always get hit out of nowhere by some wave and end up on your own. What hey guys. That? What was that? <laughs> what was that? It's a song by Brand New called "Play Crack the Sky." You should have I said it was you. I I would have never guessed that. I, that would have. That's what I want you to do from now on. Come come to every uh, three man cult recording with a song. You got it, brother. I can do that for you. And because I thought you actually wrote that for a second there. I really thought you wrote it too. <laughs> now wouldn't that be beautiful though? I was like, that's not the song you said you were gonna sing. And that doesn't even sound like a brand new song. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It is the last song on the album Deja and Tendu, one of my favorite albums from my youth. What is brand new? What like type the, of music? the irony is that Deja and Tendu means already heard in French, mm. right? And so they're called brand new with an album called Already Heard. It's pretty clever. Oh. Dude, there's nobody I want to punch more than French people. Seriously? Yeah. Like, actually. <laughs> like, yeah. it, it, how many times have you seen people talk about going to France and being like, oh, bonjour. And they go, uh? Huh? Cigarette. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bonjour? Uh, bon- bonjour? Bonjour? Oh, bonjour. Yes, yes. Bonjour. All right. All right. Bitch. I know, right? Not allowed to do that in America. What about French Canadians? Not that I'd want to, but. Montreal, huh? French Canadians? Quebec. Uh, you know they have, have you hear, seen the cuss words they have in Montreal? Mm-mm. They have this whole thing with the church in Montreal. What? Where they're like this, the told French Canadians, and it's like, you know, against the church, this like revolutionary spirit to them. Oh. So when they cuss, they don't just say like fuck and shit and, you know, like merde means like shit in French. Right. They say like tabernacle. Tabernacle Whoa. is the F word. With me? I swear to God. You, they say calice de tabernacle. That means a chalice, like a chalice cup. So they're just church. being sacrilegious. Straight all their cuss words. That's intense. Calice wow. de tabernacle. Yeah, all their cuss dude, words. Dude, so French people religion. even suck when they're not in France. Hey, dude, I know, right? <laughs> Those separatists, they call No, I'm just kidding. That's cool. It's cool to not like people that go to church. It's cool to like not like people that are different from you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, um... Uh, uh, what, what's, what's another one? Uh, Italians. E, right. Now I want to get something. <laughs> no, no. I want to get something out of the way. That's very important for everybody that's going to be watching this program. Right. If you could keep your COVID I'm over sorry. there, that would be awesome. <laughs> oh no. I'm just, Thank I'm sorry, you. Alvin. I got, I got germs on you. Now, if you're going to be watching this program, you need to have some terms and conditions, right? Mm-hmm. We just want to keep everything on the up and up, and we want this to be legal. Yeah, yeah. So I've written them out, and I'm just going to, since mm-hmm. you're watching this video, and I don't want everybody to have to read. It takes too long. I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm going to read the terms and conditions of Three Man Cult for you, okay? Yeah, please, if you listen to the first, like, two minutes of this episode, please don't, please forget about it. Skip to this point in the episode. We'll give you a warning. Then come back and then start it over. And then when you get to this part, skip ahead yeah. to the next part and we'll let you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So okay. here's the terms and conditions, okay? This is l- legal. Unless specifically specified explicitly, all contents, including but not limited to, videos, blog posts, video blog posts, vlogs, selfies, newsletters, bedwetters, yellow lead bedders, web comics, the other kind of comics, the other other kind of comics, racist dog whistles. Sorry, that should say illusionist Don Rickles. <laughs> I think he was a comic, though, actually. Novels, novellas, magazine blurbs, Halloween's in the suburbs, getting hit in Dirk blurbs, emails, email blasts, event updates, voiceovers, once overs, do overs. And any food-based derivative, additive, substantive, with a lid, without a lid, NFTs, crypto coins, blockchain currencies, web-based currencies, gold-based currencies, yellow lead-based currencies. 
Based is how you feel inside base currencies, unbased currencies, vibe based currencies, or other materials not listed are the strict and legally adherent property of Zeno. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tamu Solani Hall of Fame Anaheim Ducks player. Scratch that. The legally adherent property of TMC, the three man cult, any and all heirs to the wealth and limelight thereof. By engaging with this media, you agreed to sell your soul to TMC for market value in your locale, or agree to smash that like button and subscribe, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's really um, that was real. That's real, and it, it's, it's it's to be adhered. Completely permissible yeah. in court too. So we will sue you if you break any of those terms. I had Ye's lawyers work on that for me, so that is oh. as tight as it's gonna get tight bunghole you didn't mention you mentioned xenu I'm sorry, so who's that <clears throat> uh that's the guy that like kanye believes in i thought that was tom cruise oh yeah yeah oh scientologists also people that you kind of want to punch in the face right we're not so different from the scientologists <clears throat> right i guess not. we're a cult yeah we're the three-man cult but the thing that I don't like about Scientology is that they don't, they like hide their ego. They go like, oh, yeah. guys, you've heard a lot of bad stuff. No, you're hearing it here from Three Man Cult. We suck, but we're better than you, right? Yeah. We're better than you. And we know it. This is a little dodgeball reference. That's, uh, that's my, that's my stand up intro uh. is I'm better than you. It always works. <sighs> I didn't even drink the coffee on that one. <laughs> that <was> nice. <laughs> I remember earlier when we were talking and you uh, sipped your extremely hot coffee because you were like doing that like thing where you're like, I don't know what to do right now, so I'm going to drink my yeah. coffee. And I was just like, he's sipping that extremely hot coffee right now. I know. You did do that. Did I do? You did do that. Oh, yeah. You okay. know that you did that, right? Well, you know, um, have you ever seen that? There was a post one time on the internet. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And it was a it was a Bud Light bottle, and it was like new Bud Light bottle now with more label to peel off for socially anxious people. You know how like you just sit there and you're like peeling off the like actually like the label of the. It was a joke, Chad. Oh, oh I was gonna say I've yeah. never done that. You never peeled off the label of your beer while you're talking to somebody at a party that you no, like, I don't wish even you know weren't talking. I do. Labels, dude. I, I basically <laughs> got the bottle folded in half okay. by the time I'm done in the that's conversation. What I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> do you don't you don't get nervous when you talk to people, huh, Albie? Me? No. No? You don't You don't really care. I don't get nervous. It's just that sometimes, you know, you gotta... Maybe I'm a fidgeter. I'm a fidgeter. Yeah. I do things with my hands. You gotta keep your hands busy. Yeah. Did you take communications? I did. Yeah. Yeah. I took a communications class, a public speaking class. That was yeah. interesting. Yeah, you gotta do that, right? It kind of mm-hmm. sucked. It kind of sucked. The public teach speaking class you the tricks of how to, like... Tell us the fidget. tricks, Albie. Just like, what are the tricks? How you like uh, how you stand, and then yeah, how, you, mm, how, you, how you place your hands. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so, so like you can like do things where you don't get tempted to do anything with your hands. So yeah. You just go like this. That works. Yeah. I, it's, you just got to do it like this. I think when I'm when I'm trying to stand neutrally and I don't know what to do with my hands, I just like kind of do the like hands folded at the front, right? Yeah. No, because so, I don't like crossing my arms. I do the Forrest Gump a lot, and I feel like people give me a lot of um, what is the flag Forrest for that. Gump? We don't have a camera where I can show you, but what I'm I put my hands on my hips. Oh, like, like oh, that's just a like com- that comfortable thing? Yeah. thing for me to do. It looks kind of weird though. It does look weird. People think people do, look at me weird. I go like this, like when I'm trying to make people know that I'm listening. Like you know when like eye contact. If you look in someone's eyes yes. while they're talking to you, some people get really weirded out by that. But it's like yeah. Because, like, they don't expect that eye contact, but what I like to do is when someone's talking to me, I just, to let them know that I'm, like, listening and not, like, distracted, I just go, ah, la, 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 I can't hear you. That's what I do. Yeah. Is that, <laughs> is that yeah. good? <laughs> is that funny? That's how I usually back out of a conversation, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just go, uh, I'm not interested in this conversation anymore. You just go. <laughs> Have you ever stared at someone at the mall and then you made sure that, that you knew? That they were staring at you, or you were staring at them, and you just kept going for it. Yeah, you just didn't stop. That's how I walk around. Yeah. I try not to look at people. I try to look like a robot walking. Why do we like think just... it's disrespectful in other <clears throat> places, uh, other than the United States, where we're from, France, to look 
in the eyes so much. And we see it as the exact opposite. Like, you better be looking me in the eyes if you're speaking at me. Yeah, that's a crazy thing. Yeah. In some countries, you look at, you you just look at someone and they're, they want to throw hands or something. It's crazy. What's up with that? Is Uh, it too personal? Because in somewhere like Japan, right? Is that, maybe I'm being ignorant right now. That's a place where you shouldn't be making a lot of eye contact. Is that true? Um, I'm not sure. There is a lot of like really weird culture stuff in Japan. Albie, can you Google, can we make eye contact in Japan? <laughs> is that socially acceptable? The answer is acceptable? yes, you racist. Am I? I know I'm being so ignorant right yeah. now. But I know that there's places out there Albie, that, you're, Albie, that you're not supposed Albie, to. Albie, hold on. What? You just did something that made me want to scream. He went to Google first? You went to Google first. I know, it's... No, I'm just kidding, Albie. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, don't go to Google? No, it's it's Google Chrome. You don't have to go to Google.com. Just type in, in the search bar, <laughs> Grandpa. Yeah, come on, Albie. Grandpa Albie. Oh, I don't use... You know, what's funny is I don't use Google Chrome as mm. my... You're a Mozilla Firefoxer? Uh, yeah, I use Firefox. Do you use Microsoft Edge? I use Edge. Dude, Microsoft Edge is like selling like pieces of themselves just to get you to use it. I like you I like to use um, Microsoft Edge, but it sucks. I like to. Um, I'd rather use Microsoft. Let me come already. <laughs> Microsoft. Can you look at a Japanese person in the eye? Oh, in Japan, eye contact equals aggression. Eye contact equals aggression. What? That right? is so insane. Yeah, if you look at someone in the eye, they look away. But the point that I was going to make. I just want to look at their beautiful eyes. Right in in Japan, though, they have way more of a collective. Uh, mentality in society, right? Like right. we're so individualistic yeah. in uh, America. Oh, crazy. So what's up with that? That we can't even look you in the eye, though, but they're still way more into their fellow man, um, so to speak. Yeah, no, no. I think I don't know. I'm going to Japan in May, so I'm supposed to go in a couple that of years. Is actually good to know. Yeah, dude. I'm glad I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna look at any. You know what I learned recently too. I wonder why that is. But you don't don't um, pass something. I don't know why you would. Hmm. But don't pass something from uh, chopstick to chopstick. You go, hey, babe, I want to try your roll. You don't go like that. Put it will. on her plate. It's oh. something they do at funerals. Oh, that that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It has to do with a funeral I've seen thing. that. I've seen that before. You just yeah. kind of like just divvy it out. Yeah. That's... I don't know why you would get the, into that situation. Like, but. Well, but thinking, how often do you put like you're, you're holding chopstick? That's what I'm saying. It yeah. probably wouldn't happen anyway, but... Uh, then there's like bowing and stuff like that. Like, I, yeah, they don't really they, shake hands. You, they you don't just shake bow. hands. They just bow, and then there's a certain amount of bowing that you do. Yeah, like, yeah. there's like a small head bow. There's like a, like a thank you yeah, bow, and then yeah. there's like a really formal one. It's wild. I, I have a friend who lives. Uh, their sister lives in Japan, and she says, when you go to work, you have to wear your work shoes on the way to work, and then you can put your tennis shoes on when you're in the office. But you have to wow. go to work in oh, those shoes. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I yeah. have a. I wow. Have, so uh, I weird? work at a Japanese company. Okay. Oh. And we have uh, our our regular shoes, obviously. And right. When we get there, we have our shoes that we change into. What a trip! And then, hmm. for like even for the bathroom, we have other shoes that we change into. Wow. And then that makes sense. And then uh, for another area, that, that's... we have more shoes that we change into. What wow. the hell? That's a good point. I, you know what I'd love to see is like a. a Get a black light at the airport, like out of the bathroom and all of the on the floor. How much oh, you probably piss? Throw up. Oh my god, so much dude. Piss. I've been uh, I've been recently converting to a shoes at the door kind of guy. What about you? Yeah. You don't do shoes. Do you do shoes at the door? I live in a Japanese home. That's so right. We're definitely That's a shoes right. at the door people. I'm only one eighth Japanese, so I just need you to like untie one shoe slightly. Right. Right. Yeah. So you just take the Velcro off, so they're a little bit more loose. <laughs> yeah. Well, I grew up in an area where it was like mostly Asian people and every one of my friends whose houses I would go to was that that was the yeah, norm. And yeah. I kind of I like I understood it. I wasn't like that's weird. I was like why don't we do that at my house? I hate seeing shoe tracks throughout the tile and it is shit like It is pretty that. gross when you start thinking about it. Yeah. 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 Cuz you carry so much stuff on your shoes. Yeah. Like germs from everything else. Ugh gross yeah it's like that invader zim episode did you ever watch invader zim as a kid i really liked invader zim yeah. remember when he gets the like germ goggles and he sees how many germs are everywhere i can't remember but he, I, oh imagine. yeah i remember that episode because he like looks up like what dangerous things on earth there are and they were like the most dangerous thing is bacteria germs. so yeah and then he just sees gur like rolling around it covered in germs and he's just like ah! like starts freaking <laughs> out that's my life dude oh you're a germaphobe oh, a little bit i'm a little bit of a germaphobe but I'm a very lot a bit uh, neat freak. 
Yeah. Like a freak. You know that every time I come over, you show me how you've rearranged all of your things? <laughs> That's a real thing, actually. Yeah. That is true. That's <laughs> The weird. other day I did that, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I think you're, I you're inside my brain right now. Does that make sense? I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, it's all connected. So sometimes when I get new things, I like to just show it, even it, though you're not interested at all. It's an extension of you. That's how I feel, dude, about music. I'm the only one who likes music the way that you should. It's true. Um, but that's how I feel when I share a song with somebody. I'm not just like, isn't this a cool tune you might like? I'm mm-hmm. like, I'm bearing my soul to you, bro. Yeah. If I connected to it enough to send it to you, you're I'm emitting a piece of myself onto you, so to yeah. speak. Yeah, yeah. But then you're also the guy that never listens to their friends' music, so you kind of suck. Well, I have better taste. (laughs) That's the reason. Dude, you know what the one time I actually got mad at you was? I got mad at you and I never told you because it wasn't that big of a deal. I didn't listen to your Leprosy album or something? No, no, no. (laughs) (laughs) But there was a, a girl that I liked that we worked with for a brief period of time. And I was like, she likes some terrible shit like The Strokes. Do you like the strokes? Cool. I, I, like I will strokes. say this. Julian Casablancas has a really great voice. I just don't like that style of music. That's fine. Alternative? Mm, yeah, I guess alternative rock. It's just kind of boring. It's, um, what do you call it? Sterile. It's yeah, sterile Yeah, it's only music. like two notes. I get yeah. what you are saying. But I said something like, oh man, something about like needing to find a girl that likes the kind of music I like, which is my music sucks. I listen to like technical death metal. That shit sucks. But anyways. No, it's good. Right, well, but it sucks. It's good, but it sucks. Like, yeah, my okay. favorite band is the worst band in the world, if you know what I'm saying. A little bit. Well, anyways, you said, I think you just need to listen to, like, gayer music. Or oh, is something that what like I said? That. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to quote you. It was a different cancel. time. <laughs> no, no, I, I don't think you said gayer. I think you said, I think you just need to listen to, like, like more digestible music, basically. Like, And I got mad because I was like, fucking Tanner, like, giving me yeah, advice yeah, yeah. that sucks because I shouldn't have to change myself. And uh, but true. you were you weren't wrong you weren't wrong I I needed to listen to uh, better music but look man I was wrong because there's plenty of big titty goth girls at the shows you go to <laughs> that's true that's true it's fine dude I I went to a leprous show there's this this Norwegian metal band and there was like more women than men there it's yeah weird. dude it's wild the the metal community is like shifting yeah how many viewers do you think we'd have that would even know what the hell we're talking about when we talk about metal shows well, 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 well I, what i'm actually thinking is what if all those women are actually just making human sacrifices that's why they're at oh that's that's what i'm into though dude i'm into a woman that will sacrifice me yeah right right wow does, well does they do need a virgin to sacrifice <laughs> <laughs> i can't think of a funny comeback you got me really i've never felt the warmth of a woman What's your best impression? My best impression? Yeah. Like to do of like a character? Sure, anything. I used to really do... <laughs> like, I, I don't know if I can do it anymore, but <clears throat> let's see. I used to like doing Captain Zap Brannigan from Futurama. Pretty good. I like the... My favorite part of the woman is the booby. Yeah, that's that's pretty like. good. Yeah. yeah. Did you like it? That was good. I was pretty good. Oh, Say okay. Kip. Say Kip. Kip. Get yeah. me, fetch me that uh, that thing that you use. Fetch me those pliers. <laughs> Whatever Kip sounds like. He that was a pretty good Kip, yeah. Dude, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, what about you? What's your best impression? Oh, I wasn't saying that because I have one that I wanted to do. <laughs> That's not why people bring up things like that. I was genuinely just interested in what your impressions could be. That's true. That's... But I could do a pretty good Christopher Walken though. That is, it's it's just a cadence thing. Everybody does that one. Everybody could do Christopher Walken. That's true. That's true. Uh, I found a shoe (laughs) underneath my foot. Little Miss Muffet sat on a yeah Tuffet. I'm a little teapot. Have you seen the 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 Peter Pan clip where he like farts and then says the game is up? What did you just fucking say? Dude, there's like a there's a Peter Pan live action and he's like Christopher Walken is playing Captain Hook. What? And he like Wow, I need to see that. He's like Peter Pan lost his mother. And then he like sits there and like forgets his line and then you hear a fart and he goes, "The game is up." This is real life. <laughs> Can you look up Christopher Walken Peter Pan clip? Wow. What? Christopher Walken, can you look at Japanese person? I love that we had to look that up. What I love I just even don't want to be ignorant. 
No, what I love even more is the answer was no. Yeah, don't yeah. do it. We were like, I don't, we're not being yeah. racist. We just want right. to know. It's aggressive. Oh, Peter Pan live. Is that loud enough? Can we show this content on the internet? We can show know. six seconds of it. You don't have an ad blocker? Nope. Don't use an ad blocker when you watch our videos. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I heard the fart. I did hear the fart, too. Dude, that was bad, right? Yeah, so he's a professional. Holy crap. Man. I've seen high school plays better than that. Come on, Christopher Walken. Is, what's that one they do in... Is it called Godsmack? What? No, it's called Godspell or something. That's one everyone does in high school. Google Godspell. Godspell. Hell. What the hell is that? That's what it's called, dude. I swear. It's a musical they do in school. Dude, I have seen some really compelling acting Why is yeah, God spell in high school plays. I don't know. Probably because it says God. It's a, yeah, it's a musical. Oh. Well, sorry, what were you saying? You see, you have, you've see, you been inspired by high school plays before? Dude, dude, there was a high school play that I went to that the ending, it was like a Canterbury Tales yeah, type thing. Do you know the Canterbury Tales? I don't know how to say what I'm trying to say, but it was like several different mini plays. Vignettes. Long play. Yeah, something like that. And there was one where it was just a guy doing a monologue, sweating and crying, and it was his role was Noah begging God not to flood the earth. And he was Whoa. like screaming and crying with just one light on him, and I was just like, I was like moved by it. I was like, it's like acting. Like, damn. Don't flood the earth, God. Yeah. yeah. Don't do it. I was just like, well, that wasn't good enough, apparently. Damn. Dude, Noah's Ark is real. Don't don't you know? Do you believe that Noah's Ark was real? I've heard that a lot of cultures have this a similar story about the earth flooding and about um you've seen that there's a fucking boat in a mountain in Asia somewhere and they're like, This is probably Noah's Ark since it's up on a mountain. How'd a boat get on a mountain? Yeah. It must have been flooded. Um uh, I don't know if there's <clears throat> any uh uh, uh, <laughs> How to boat science. get on the mountain? The story's real. There might be science behind the whole okay. flood thing. Why? Why do cultures all have that story? Why did we find three pig carcasses in this brick house and one wolf carcass in the chimney? Are you telling me three little pigs is not real? Why did I choose to do this voice? Tell me. Why did you do that to me, Tana? I'm trying. I'm an Italian man trying to convince you that if your house is made of straw, <laughs> it's going to get blown uh, over. Robert De Niro. I can't. I don't know how Robert De Niro talks. All I know is that he does this. If the house is a straw, it's gonna get blown over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if your I, house is made of bricks, it's gonna be pigs in the chimney. Dude, <laughs> closes his eyes. Dude, out. that false equivalency. <laughs> if What's your house is made of bricks, you're gonna have a wolf in your chimney. There's a wolf. There's a. Uh, I feel like the Noah's Ark thing is actually more viable than people think it is because back in that mm. time there was probably less species of animals. But you're still telling me every single creature on Earth was placed into this boat? Well, maybe on not. Earth. On Earth, on walking Earth animals, maybe. They just don't put Good the point. carnivores in the same spot as the herbivores, right? No, I think they were just um, just nice at the time. <laughs> they were n this is before animals were evil. Yeah, this is just nice ones. Dude, yeah, this was before animal suffering existed. Now uh, animals just murder each other. This is when chimps would just ride giraffes for miles. Didn't we talk about the Battle of... Uh, Kruger, it's Kruger, called. last yeah. episode. The most yeah. intense thing I've ever seen. A brutal animal. Saga. Dude, I hate... I love animals. And then when they mingle, I hate them. Like when animals get together with other animals and start tearing each other apart and killing each other and just gore. Right. It. I hate it. I like. You know, I hyenas do ass first because it's the easiest way to like devour a carcass. Dang. Uh huh. They, they be a little <laughs> bit like me, right? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah. That's what I like. Yeah. That's disgusting, actually. I know. That's. Yeah. I did not know that. That is terrible. Yeah, it's just a good place to start. Yeah. Did you ever see those but like it, PETA videos when you were a kid, where they show like what they do to animals in like factories? I seen some pretty yeah. I seen some. You know, but I'm not even phased by that stuff. I'm it not phased you? anymore. But when I first saw them, it f messed me up. Do those you are people who've never grown up on a farm. Right. Oh, that's we're a good so point. far removed now from death and what it like even takes to have food, even ethically and stuff. That yeah. Where it's yeah, pretty surprising. Yeah, like I won't I won't eat anything that I won't kill myself. I think. That you wouldn't that you wouldn't get kill down yourself? And, and kill it. That's a yeah. yeah. Oh man, that that would be hard. What what would I have to? 
I don't know if, if I could kill a cow. I don't think I could either. Oh, I know? could totally do it. I Damn. don't. Well, I don't think. I don't think that there's anything wrong with it, right? How, could you choke out a cow? Could I choke out a cow now? Dude, that's what they. You should would do. only do the. Uh, You'd the, have to do the, the lock, the, yeah. the 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 Anton. Well, you could you could, uh, sugar, you could cut a sugar throat guy from. Thing, right? um, wait, what? They what did cut, you cut say? its throat. They hang him upside do. down. They yeah. cut the throat. It's supposed to be humane enough, I guess. God, but you man. know what? Turtle soup. I would never eat it. Turtle nah. soup. Why? You couldn't no. kill a turtle? No, I could not. I love turtles. I know. That's turtles are super how cute. Harmful. I couldn't eat a dog, or, or I couldn't kill a dog or a cat. I don't know if I could kill a a duck. I, I, I don't know because animals are super duck. cute. Like chickens know. are super cute to me. I feel like I couldn't kill anything if it came down to it, unless that's, I was starving in the woods. Right. That's that's a good point. I don't know uh, if I've got it in me. I'll be that only much... eats bears because it's the only thing yeah. he decides he wants to kill. Right. I only oh. kill tiger sharks and bears because that's what I need to eat. No, I would not. I, would, I uh, chances are I wouldn't kill a bear because that'd be very hard to kill. They're beautiful. Look at this bear. Dude, can we talk about that uh, the veganism thing? Like, are you guys? Where do you guys stand that on whole like veganism, veganism thing? Look, I think there's that no... whole thing where like it's kind of new, but this like, is what I think. Animal I'm products. not. I, I think it's silly to not have animal byproducts. Mm. I think vegetarian yeah. is perfectly fine. Like, if oh yeah, you eat right. a vegetarian. Point. That's great. What, what were you gonna say? Eat Tanner? Cheese. I I pretty much agree with that. Like, it it makes sense to have animal. I want to be an ethically um Eating. my moral character is just not strong enough that's the truth i want to not eat the animals but i don't it's the, it's the treatment i don't feel like i want there to be a reality where nobody ever eats animals ever again mm. but i just don't feel right you knowing that there's chickens a... on top of chickens on top of chickens shitting yeah. on each other yeah you cage. should just buy organic that's the way to yeah. do it just buy only organic Buy from a farm down the street. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. yeah. That's the only way. That's the only way to truly be ethical and eat it. In, and it's so meat. bad for the um, environment. There's just no yeah. denying it. How and much we land we have dedicated. Yeah. Well, w w did we yeah. ever talk about the gloop? Like how, like, I don't know if you guys agree, but if I could, you said it once. The gloop? If you could just eat a gray gloop that gives you oh, your nutrients. Totally, you would. dude. It's like a protein shake, right? Totally. Like I just put protein powder in water, and that gives me protein. Yeah. I don't have. There's no animal that has to die except for the water cow or lab-based meat. W like why? Oh, I'm, I'm behind that too. Yeah. Why do? Why mm. would anyone be against that? Hmm. Yeah. As long as it's viable. As long as it's viable. If it tastes like a cheeseburger, I could not care less if it was made in a laboratory. Isn't that better? Yeah, the the only point that I stop at that like ethical thing is that if humankind suffers from not killing animals, then we should be able to kill animals, honestly. And my reasoning here hmm. is that if someone was going to destroy every animal in the world, no animal would have the agency to stop it, but humans would. I just read this book, Y'all Gotta Read, and I don't need to plug it for this author. I think her okay. name is something I can't Stephanie Meyer, right Twilight. Now. It's Twilight 2. Yes. Okay. Well, and that's called New Moon. I think it's called Empire Strikes Back. Um, <laughs> Edward Cullen Strikes Back. Yes. It's called Tender is the Flesh. And it's a book about you how about everyone in the world, or all the animals, sorry, get this disease, and they have to cull all the animals in the world. That's so crazy. And the people still want to eat meat, so they start like breeding people that are too dumb, and they cut out their tongues, and then they eat people. They slaughter people and eat people, and it just becomes like... How long is this book? It's all good. It's pretty short. I want to read it now. You might consider it a novella. Maybe it's only... It's probably 15,000 <clears> words or something. Yeah. Uh, That's awesome. But yeah, think. I mean, think about that one. Because everybody couldn't give up the meat, and there's no denying, right, that like... Uh, there's plenty of... Vegans will go... I'll write a whole book on protein, but like cooked animal flesh, is no, you're not getting better than that in terms of give me the protein and give me this stuff yep. to live in my body. Yeah, I took a nutrition class where they said that there's a certain like nutrient that leaves the animal's body the moment it dies and you cut its meat. What's but, that called? A soul? No, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's uh, that uh, that one animation from Walking Dead where everyone used it and said this is evidence of a soul, but it was a screenshot of the Walking Dead turning into a zombie. Have you seen that? No. They're, they literally were using that. And when I say they, I mean this is total bullshit. So I'm just going <laughs> to... What I was saying... 
was uh yeah there's something in like an animal where you have to like the only way to get it is to bite the meat off of the animal oh so a, like, wow yeah like you have to like literally like the, the flavor of fear <laughs> yeah i guess like so that? yeah yeah they say that fear is actually bad it makes meat taste bad so you want cows that are happy they talk about that in the tender is the flesh book Isn't that weird? Gotta keep everybody chill yeah dude it's kind of it's kind of morbid but it's reality it's totally it's just the way it's the way it's been are, since the beginning right? of time well think it's about just this that way. we have something has lived dude. a better life then of course it's gonna be better yeah I mean, we'll never, we'll never be able to go back to caveman days, right? Where we run and chase the thing down that we want to eat. Yeah. Animals would be way faster if we still did that. Think about over the years, how many like evolutionarily yeah. like uh, like advancements animals would have. Like chickens would be so fast because they would be yeah. escaping us. Still getting hunted <laughs> by humans. And we'd probably be fast too. We'd yeah. be fast and really stupid Hear because me uh, of the. The jaw muscle thing. Hear me out. What if what if we're just food for aliens? That they, would be kind of cool. They've been breeding us this whole time. To well, that would be that would be nice weird because they're, humans. Yeah, they're wasting a lot of food because there's just a bunch of rotting corpses in the ground. And they're like, ah, oh. <laughs> which no, translates the, to, damn it, we left a bunch of humans and we forgot to get them out of the fridge. Waiting for us to evolve into you know the Wally type people, oh. the, the juiciest plant. We're like alien foie gras. Oh, wow. They're waiting until global, uh, you know, like obesity rates are at a certain level, and then they're going to cull us all because we're juice, juicy, plump human snacks. I wish, dude. I wish. I honestly, yeah. I, I think that if th- we were not alone in the world, in the universe, and we the, aren't. I don't think we are, but I'm saying like, if the only option was not only are we not alone in the universe, but they want to kill us and eat us, that would be way better than being alone in the universe. I guess I would have to agree. Yeah, I, dude, I wanna I wanna go guns blazing against the aliens. Yeah. Do, you, do would you? No, I, would I wouldn't be, be the friends. first. Wouldn't what? I'd want to be friends. I'd want to be friends too. I wouldn't want to fire the first shot. Yeah. But if they started shooting at us, I would be like, all right, let's go. Yeah. Well, how good's your diplomacy? <clears throat> yeah. Have you ever? Have you guys ever entertained that thing? Have you seen this? Uh, this post on the internet. I can't remember what people call it, but let's say aliens visited us finally Mm -hmm. how important it would be if you were the first human on earth to make contact with the aliens there's a like you'd have to show them that we're intelligent Mm. it's you know it's jumping to a conclusion that the aliens are also don't know much about humanity somehow they've just gotten here they haven't maybe been observing us yeah all the things that you would need to the diplomacy, I'll be saying. You, you got to show them the Pythagorean theorem is what they say. You, show them we're intelligent. They're a captive. They're in, their knowledge is captive to what you let them see, basically. Or, or, right. They'll, or what's that movie where they haven't played the game? They haven't played a game? Yeah, like they, they, met, um, they met aliens. And to communicate, they would play these games. I don't know. To, to show that, like, oh, we're capable of... Interesting. I don't, I have no idea. Are you not talking about that uh, pretty recently movie, Arri- Arrival? It could be that. Oh, I've never seen that movie. You didn't see it? It was no. great. Yeah. Oh, oh, Arrival. You're talking about the potato chip spaceship. It's a giant, like, it looks like a giant potato chip. I and guess we're just so. trying to communicate with them on the whiteboard. Yeah. That movie was amazing. Yeah, s- similar idea. Like, they did how some time could you possibly the communicate end. if they don't know? Maybe their society doesn't even have symbols that That's mean true. things. You That's know? true. We'd be screwed. Because they would scan my brain and they'd be like, lots of World War II knowledge. Let's see why World War II have... Oh. 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 Kill them all. Yeah. Be like, wait, wait, that makes you a different World War II guy. I won't say his name. He's the guy that that started World War II. George Bush? Just kidding. That's Archduke Franz Ferdinand, right? That was World War I. <laughs> I can't believe I actually made that mistake. You're right. That was World War One. Archduke. World War Two was started by Japan. But don't listen to Dan Carlin's Hardcore History podcast. Listen to Three Man Cult. Yeah, listen to Three Man Cult. On YouTube.com. Misinformation, gaslighting. Um, what else do we got going for us? Conspiracy. Conspiracy. Can we gaslight the audience right now? Can we come up with a lie to gaslight the audience? There's nobody in the room with you. That's... Nobody else is in the room with you guys. That's actually scary. 
I don't care if you're next to your friend watching this video. They're not there. Is that gaslighting? Or am I just lying? No, you're what? just... That's the truth. You're deluded. I'm just delusional. You're just crazy. Okay. Yeah. So gaslighting would be like <laughs> putting on a Smith's record and being like, babe, what are you even talking about? The word doesn't exist. Yeah. Gaslighting is literally made up. Like, that's not a real word. And it all comes full circle because the Smith's album, Meat is Murder, <clears throat> dude. 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 I was just thinking that people that listen to the Smiths probably gaslight their girlfriends a lot because they've yeah. never met a good Smiths fan. Hmm. Is that is that too much? I've never met a Smiths fan that wasn't a 15-year-old Mexican. I like the Smiths. Okay. That me, I but with corrected. Iron Maiden. Me, but with Iron Maiden. Run to the hills. Run. Dude, I, I've actually like never met someone that listens to Iron Maiden that has not curly hair. Like they always hair. have super long curly hair. I feel hair. like this is a race Albie, thing I'm not allowed hair. to get into. Oh, you're what? Right. I guess you're right. Hair is a touchy subject, yeah. No, you don't touch the hair. <laughs> Dude. That's step one. Can I touch your <clears throat> hair? Don't even ask. I've never asked that. I have legitimately just never asked it. that. I just do it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, I, I don't think I've ever done that, yeah. But you wanted to. But there are people that do that, right? I think like it's really weird. But it's mainly girls, right, that ask that. Can I touch your hair? I've had people ask to touch my hair, yeah. That's weird. Yeah, they're always like, oh my God, your hair's do so Do I soft. have perfect eyebrows? Yeah, you yes, do. You you have have I've been told eyebrows. that so many times and I don't even know what that means. Uh, you just, you're hot. No, about the eyebrows. Yeah. The, you're you have nice just... eyebrows. You're, they make you look good. Look at my eyebrows. I don't think you can even see them with this light. I like, I'm going to look at the screen. I look like Marilyn face. Manson right now. Just no eyebrows. This just looks like a shadow on my... my. What would I look like with no eyebrows? Terrifying. Way hotter for one. Fuck you. No, I would not. Okay, okay. I'm trying to grow my hair out like you. But really? What? Let's let's do it. Okay. Fuck, Mary kill the three of us. If you were a fourth person in this room and you saw the three of us and you had to either fuck, marry, or kill one of us... Who would it be and why? That's so... Do you, can you not... Are you... I think the answers are pretty obvious. Can you not... Yeah. Oh. Sorry, Albie. You're dying three times. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no, uh, I... Bazinga. I Okay, then I'll go first. Okay, I would... Right. Uh, I would marry Albie. Wow. Okay. I would fuck you. Okay. Because you're hot. Okay. And then I'd kill myself. But but no, Albi, I would marry because Albi is wow. just like, he is a kind and loving man. And, you know. Wow. You know, just sure. being, me and Albi have been dating for like quite a while now. So I've gotten to know him a lot. So I would marry him. Are you proposing to Albi? Albi had zero reaction to that. <laughs> Albi's waiting for me to stop talking. Oh, no. I'll keep going. <laughs> okay, Albi, what, what about you? Who would you fuck, marry, and kill if you were a fourth person in this room? If I was a fourth person in this room. We marry Chad. Really? Yes. Oh, we fuck Tanner. <laughs> okay. We kill you? We kill me. Fuck, dude. You guys are a little suicidal What over about here. you? No, no, no. I'm gonna, I just don't want to marry or screw myself. I'm going to marry Chad, too. Really? W- well, no. No, you don't want to marry me. No, that's weird. Actually, yes. Really? Yeah. Because I said no? It made me want it a little bit more. <laughs> it's a forbidden fruit now. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. No, because you might buy me a lot of presents. That's what I'm thinking. That's true. Gift giving. And, and look, um, I've fucked myself a lot. So I don't need to go there. That's true. I'm going to fuck Albie. Oh, so you just kill you? I'm also going to kill me. All right, so how about we do this again? Insert the suicide hotline number right here. Yeah, that's not. Uh, let's uh, let's do a different one. Something a little less offensive. I'm sorry, unalive. Okay, screw Mary, unalive. Okay, how how can I how can I put this? Consensual lovemaking. I feel like I shouldn't have to say consensual before. <laughs> I feel like that makes it redundant, right? I'm just letting you roll, bro. I don't think you can non-consensually make love. No, you can't. That's, I, I had to unravel that for a moment, but but I'm right. Y- yes, of okay. course. So, I, so love making, um, a contractual binding of romance between a 
person and another person. Legal spouse creation. Marriage. Legal spouse creation. Or unalive. Uh-huh. Um, George Bush, Hitler, and Joan Rivers. Which Bush? H-dub or dub? Dub. Joan Rivers? Yeah. And Hitler? Yeah. Whew. You know, it's rigged because you have to kill Hitler, right? Yeah, yeah you have to. 100%. Yeah, but... but oh, and, but who do you marry? I mean, Joan Rivers is a woman. Yeah. I prefer that sexually. Dude, can I be real with you? Please. 80-year-old Joan Rivers I was attracted to. What? Yeah, I know. It's weird. Can you look up Joan Rivers real quick, Albie? Let's see if I still have that mindset. Let's see. Wow, dude. Joan R.I.P., first of all. Rivers. Dude, R.I.P. But Joan Rivers? God, yeah, I don't dude, know. Dude, she looks like a handbag. <laughs> <laughs> look, at, go to Google Images, please, Albie. Go to Images. Oh. I don't know. There's something about it. Even even old Joan Rivers, I would. Oh. Uh, She's pretty. Seeing yeah. seeing the young Joan Rivers next to her is unfair though, because that she does look good young. But you know what? She didn't really age badly. But I think it was just yeah, she doesn't. She does kind of look like a scary cat person though, right? Yeah, I was gonna say a little bit of a, a Cheshire cat stuffed in a bag or something. I, I don't say know. She looks like a mean grandma. Well, if she was really nice to me, then maybe. That's all it takes for you. Yeah. She just mean, give me some warm milk here. at night and. She looks yeah, she does. Here. Yeah. Tanner, do you just not like women? Are you just do you have something for like against like women that are mature? Shrek two Joan Rivers. I want to know what the hell that was. She's in there. I I have I, what injured. I have a problem with is 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 it makes me sad that people don't think that they are allowed to age like normally. Human that's do. true. Yeah, plastic surgery sucks, dude. Some people really fuck it up so you bad. You always look oh, but bad. you know what? Yeah, you always look bad. If you don't do too much plastic surgery, I don't think you look bad. You like, look up, look like, up Julia Roberts right now. In that, she's in a new movie. Look up Julia Roberts she look 2022. Weird? No, she looks great. Oh, yeah. she is she aged naturally. What I'm saying is, there's no way she hasn't had something done to her. Yeah, just it's just bit. done really well. She just does a little bit of Botox and a little bit of filler. She yeah. doesn't go yeah. obsessive with the Botox. She looks color, like so. she's oh, she's what, only 50, five eight five. Julia Roberts, but she's I'm still five six, and I like tall girls. Now, what is concerning about her is that. Um, the gravitational pull from her mouth and the black <laughs> holes have formed inside of it. Oh my God. Who's got a bigger mouth? And I don't mean this to be mean to either of them. They're both beautiful. Are you Show me Steven Mini Tyler? Driver. Mini Driver? Uh-huh, M-I-N-N, like, like Mini mini Mouse, Mini Driver. Mini Driver. Uh-huh. I don't know who that is. Yeah, I you don't do. Either. Who is this? She's got a big mouth. Oh my God, she's got the jawline of fucking John Travolta. Holy Who, hell! What did, what is she in? I don't she's know in she uh, Goodwill Hunting. Just so you know, just audience at home, we're allowed to make fun of millionaire actors because yeah. we're ugly and poor. So, you know, it's until true. we Very get poor. millions. But I will say, one of the biggest crimes against humanity is rhinoplasty. There are yeah. so many people with great-looking noses. I have a thing for like hook noses and big noses. Yeah. And when girls like change it, I'm like. That sucks that you did that because you yeah. actually looked really pretty with your nose, like naturally. Is it, um, might sound ignorant again. I, I think it might have been Shakespeare, but there's a quote: uh, "There's no beauty without exceptional proportion." I hope that wasn't Hitler, but <laughs> exceptional proportion. The hottest models uh, are the people that work the best, in my opinion. On like you know, modeling ad campaigns, you got a huge gap in your teeth. Yeah, you got yeah. An extremely large nose. Alien huge eyes. You yeah. Know, something like that really does set you off. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like, um, have you noticed that in like makeup stores and like uh, just like clothing stores and stuff, they'll yeah. have models that are now like not the like conventionally like accepted models? Yeah, like Whereas, even you could do it now. That's true. No, no, no. I could do it before when oh. I was just a blonde white girl. Oh, where it's like that's right, all you right, saw. Right. And now you actually see a nice diversity of like characters uh in ads yeah it's i nice. think it's better i i do too i agree but yeah. yeah the gap and like dude like for the longest time i had the biggest crush on adele i still do except i don't like that she's so skinny now because it's kind of scary lot, right? look up adele oh, yeah, she looks great. skinny no no i think she looks skeletal really it's yeah. a skeletal ad- ske- skeletal 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 see i like the adele 
Uh, I guess I guess I you're right. She, she looks, still looks, she looks good there. I think it was always good. Jesus. Okay, I have a crush on Adele again. I forgot. Dude, how do you know we're like? I, I think we're older than Adele. Isn't that yeah. weird? No, no, no. We're not. We're not. We're the same age. She age. just oh, we re- she just released thirty last year. Okay. And that's that's her age. Oh, because she's thirty. Yeah. Yeah. We're the same age. We're that's we're clever. the same age as Adele, and the same age as I think Lana. But you know what's Ray. funny is that's like we may weird. be the same age as Adele, but I feel like we look like. We look way girls. younger, <laughs> do we? Yeah, I there's feel something like... about that 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 barrier. People always look older on TV. Yeah, we're yeah. watching the Real World right now, season two from 1994, the one where Pedro dies from AIDS. It's extremely what? sad. Spoiler alert: it was 30 years ago. Um, and all those people look older. Like Pedro's 22 on that show, and he's just he looks old. He d- he looks older than me. I don't know why it's we weird. look so young, but I don't think anybody would assume that we're thirty. I think you know. You know what I think is that no. I think yeah. our generation drank more water than the previous generation <laughs> and smoke less Maybe. cigarettes. Maybe. Yeah. Huge, oh shoot! Huge deal. Yeah. That's a good point. This is the most hydrated generation of all Ever. time. Yeah. Yeah, you need a skincare routine though. Going into your thirties, for oh, yeah. sure. Every man. Yeah. Men's health. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Can you can you tell me a little bit about that? I think men's health is really important. I think uh, when we're talking about like mental health and just, you know, things for men, I think I think it's important that men be able to cry. I agree. In fact, I wrote a song about it. You guys oh. want to hear it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Let's hear it. Let me get back to my song. Get your I phone know out. that Get your phone out, Drake. I know I sing a lot on the podcast and stuff, but if you guys will just indulge me. Okay, let's do it. Because I think it's important to talk about men's mental health. Let me, let me find this real quick. By the way, I'm going to explain the joke. Drake was uh, looking at his phone one time, and he said it was a freestyle. That was 10 years ago, and I'm old. But here's the other thing you need to know about when they say freestyle. They all, they wrote that already. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. They All of them did that. Biscuits Let's get back and to men's health. Rhymes, they pay me. That's, That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is a song. <laughs> it's called Come On Guys. It's about the importance for men to be able to feel comfortable crying. That's what we're talking about. That's what come on, guys. Yeah, here it goes. Okay. Well, come on, guys. We've got to pour out our love. It's in our eyes. Big feels that I'm thinking of. We're all in this together. Pulling on each other's members when... Splat! You've got love everywhere. Splat! Wipe your eyes and shake out your hair. We've got to see men cry. It's okay to cry, guys. What about the pulling on our members part? What does that have it to just, do it, with crying? It takes, a, it takes a community of, of men to... We've all got to pull on each other's members to... Right. To, you know, feel comfortable in men's mental health awareness. Okay. I think I get it. We've got, Come on, guys. We've got to pull... On our, each, on we've each got to pull on members. each member of yeah. being a man. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's like you are about. the member. We're all we're members all pulling of each the other's man members. society. You've got to. If we're all pulling on the rope in the same way. Yeah. What about the like the eyes and the hair thing? That feels like oddly. Yeah, it shows how to pull. You just got to pour out your love. Uh, Sometimes there's so much love. Uh, Can you do me a favor right now? Can you so close your eyes? Uh huh. Close your eyes right now. Yeah. And open your mouth and stick out your tongue. How like? Yeah, yeah, like Belle Delphine. Oh. And like, then and then pretend like you're shaking salt on your tongue. So, like. <laughs> yeah, that's good actually. That's really good. That's good. Okay. That's what I was thinking of when you sang your song. Oh, what I'm just trying to say is, um, it's a, it's a, when's the last time you cried? Oh, what's the last time I cried? Um. Mm, Two days ago. A couple weeks ago. Two days ago? No, yeah. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. I, uh, yeah, just a couple days ago. Or, no, a couple weeks ago, probably. Just met random panic attack. Started crying. Oh, cool, yeah. man. Yeah, those are really awesome. Wow. Yeah. What was your favorite part? When immediately after I started laughing at myself for crying. <laughs> but it felt good to cry, right? No, it was actually terrible. It was terrifying. Uh, you, you, you don't feel do you... better afterwards? Okay, the... The legitimate time, last time that I cried, was probably watching a sad movie. And yes, it does feel good. Oh, I cry Crying. all the time in movies. Dude. Yeah. 
crying legitimately feels good. The, every time I cry, every time I find myself so sad that I'm crying, I milk my sadness because I'm yeah, like, yeah. I need to get this cry out because it's been so long since I've cried. Yeah. There's something really like viscerally like. There's a whole Dane Cook bit about that, and then you like keep making yourself cry, and then you look in the mirror and you're like, <laughs> this is what I yeah. look like crying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just you ever uh, get stoned and like you just any any song. Every time I smoke weed, if I if I put on any song, I'll fucking I'm gonna cry. Oh yeah, dude. No, I like any song. I think uh, I think I was listening to Leprous, that band that I've dude. told you about before, and I was just driving and like the emotion of like singing about yeah. something so sad makes you cry. It's the dynamics with music. If you yeah, you nobody physically can help dropping the song really low and bringing it here yeah. like a, inside of your body. Yeah, dude. yeah. Even if I'm not emo, those emo lyrics yeah. they make me they make even if you're not a little bitch, you might you might cry. <laughs> dude, speaking I saw, of men's mental health, I cried in this movie. Um, you ever seen Finding Neverland with Johnny Depp? Oh, it's a great movie. Yeah, no, I cried it at the, sounds familiar. I though. cried at the end. It's about the guy that wrote Peter Pan, like the true story, you know. And at the end, there's like this little boy because he, he, you know, he was like a, a writer and he got involved with his family, long story short. So there's this little boy. And after they, in the movie, do the, the play Peter Pan for the first time and the audience is like, they're in the lobby or whatever. And they're like, little boy, like, oh, so you must be the inspiration for Peter Pan. And then the little boy goes, I'm not Peter Pan. He is. And he looks at Johnny Depp. And I was like, oh, oh dang. Oh. I was like 11, but that really got to me. Oh, man. it's an old movie. Yeah. I believe it came out in 2003, starring Kate Winslet and Johnny Depp. Iron Giant? Oh, my God. You know, I didn't cry at the Superman part when I watched the movie. Shoot. But at the Bruce. very end... Did it kill him? No, there's a post credit scene where you see all the yeah. pieces of him coming back together, and I just, like, started bawling because I was so relieved. Yeah, he looks like he's like, in oh. Alaska or something Yeah, like he that. was, like, in some, like... Uh, dude, I actually love a movie that can make me cry. Because oh, of course. it evokes an emotion strong enough to make... I'm not even the most like emotionally closed off like dude, but I feel like most of the time you can say that men don't cry enough. For and sure. I think that your song really does illustrate that point. That's w the point that I was trying to make. Yeah. They're, like getting like your eyes and like your hair shaken off and like pulling each other's right. members up. Pulling yeah. each other up by the members. Because they say if boys don't cry, say. then come on, men. Come on, man. Come on, guys. Yeah. We've got to pour out our love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Um, Yeah. Oh, what's another movie? Oh, How to Train Your Dragon 2. Have you seen any of those movies? Made you weep. Have you seen any of those movies? I have. I've seen have the you? first one. Yeah, yeah. You haven't seen the second one? Nah. Man. Major spoiler, I will not tell you then, but it made me cry in the theater. <laughs> the dragon dies. No, no, no. Uh, but, it, um... Wait, is the second one where he gets a girlfriend? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I yeah. cried because I was like, it'll never be me. <laughs> True love. Why man. couldn't it be me? Yeah. I like that guy, the, uh, whatever his name is, the the man that does the voice of the dragon yeah. kid. Mm -hmm. You ever see that movie, She's Just Not That Into You? Oh, yeah. That's a good movie. That's a good one, huh? Sounds familiar. Yeah. Oh, um, uh, Dinner for Schmucks made me cry. You Weird. cried at Dinner Dude, for Schmucks? Dude, are you fending? kidding me? Yes. Oh, okay, wow. okay. Dude, what made me cry was when he finally figured out what all those little mouse statues, uh, like yeah. taxidermies, were for, and how he figured out that it was just <clears> him <throat> and his wife the whole time. That's right. That's right. I don't know. That's pretty sad. What's I'm sadder? I'm also a little. I'm. I am a little bit of a little bitch. So. What's sadder? Okay. Simba, gnawing on Mufasa's ear after he gets trampled by the wildebeest after falling off the cliff. Cliff. <laughs> When Scar says, "Long live the king," long live the king, and then and, and then, then Simba's biting his ear, going, the "Dad, king. wake up, wake yeah. up!" Is that more sad than when Ash Ketchum is turned to stone? Oh my god! And Pikachu is trying to electrocute him to wake him up, and he's going, "Chill, yeah, chill." No, no, no. And that Ash still makes me. Up. That still makes me cry. Yeah, I think that's. that's I think that's more sad. The you Pikachu, know, Pikachu one. Pikachu? Yeah. yeah. You know, sad. you know, Simba just ate his dad, probably. Yeah, to, I yeah. mean, it's the wilderness. They should have. They should remake Lion King, but instead of doing that stupid live action CGI crap where they God. ruin the beauty of animation, they just make Simba a hardened badass when he comes back. Because Simba, like his dad, dies, and then like two stoners in the jungle are like, "Yeah, well, you know, you gotta just be chill, man." You know, Lion King is Hamlet, right? Are you serious? Really? They fucking Google it, brother. I had no idea. Who's Pumbaa? 
I've never read I've Hamlet. I've never dog. read Hamlet. Never yeah. read Hamlet. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what it's like. Something. I'm, it's so a you, pig. So you could do Hamlet is a pig. No, that's ham. Right. That's ham just omelet. Ham. Yeah. Pumbaa's a pig. He is a pig. He's a warthog. Timon is a meerkat. Timon's yes. a meerkat. Um, that's a lazy fucking animal, meerkat. <laughs> Every time you see him, they're like watching TV and shit. <laughs> Just sitting back. Um, what is it? No, no, not Lion King is sad. Uh, that one's sad. Uh, what? What's another? Oh, oh, Wreck It Ralph. Did you ever watch that? Yeah, movie? Yeah, it's a sad one. Wreck It Ralph is. Dude, have you sad? watched that movie? The first one. Was I sad. don't. I just remember a bunch of Sarah Silverman dick jokes or something. <laughs> that was. Uh, you were distracted. Um, and John C. Riley, he's Ralph, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a great actor. He's Dude, a there was a year movies. he was in every Best Picture nominated film. I want to say. What the hell? I think it was the year he was in like Gangs of New York, mm. and he's mm. in. There was a Paul Thomas Anderson movie. I think he's in Magnolia or something. Yeah, interesting. Wow, Fantastic that's crazy. Actor. Yeah. Dude, you got me on that letterbox thing. You got me signed up for that website hell where yeah, you review brother. movies. I've gotten so it. many emails from them have not reviewed a single one. No, nah, no, nah, that's so. That's but okay. I want to. That's okay. I used to want to review movies and like have my people care about my opinion, but then I realized like I don't really. You need to have like uh, uh, notoriety for people to even care about your opinions on movies. You have to be informed, very well informed, to have a, any kind of respectable yeah. opinion. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had disagree. a teacher. Well, you don't think you so? Know. Yeah, think about Yelp review. <laughs> no, that's true but i but i never take a yelp review seriously unless they're like uh there was a roach in my food then i'm like okay that might be something it's to probably check a bad out. sign uh, dude i actually saw a yelp i saw some yelp review for a starbucks i went to and the woman was like it was like a blonde karen lady like she just looks like a karen as they are and her review had so I, I don't even remember what it was but at the very end it was i will be threatening legal action on this establishment stand by oh my god and Damn i went I. I went on her profile because i was like dude this lady's great yeah 44 one star reviews one five star review and every one star review threatened legal action against like every establishment you can even think of and it was everyone ended with stand by I, I was so... Where do people find this beautiful. time? What was the five star? I don't remember. It's like a, a... It was like a... This is the best corner... Street corner Trump t-shirt company I've ever purchased ever. from. They are so nice there. Yeah, that seems to be a huge problem with reviews all over the internet, right? It's either one star or five star. Or five star. It's so, so stupid. That's people's... Um, nothing is allowed anymore to not just be polarized. There's no mm-hmm. like... Mm-hmm. It was chill. Yeah, it's a pass or fail system. It was good. I've been to places where the food was so good and the service sucked, I'd say it's a four star. Yeah. yeah. The service wasn't very good, but the food was amazing. So I'm willing to overlook that. Yeah. If the service was bad and there was something in my food, if there was a hair in my food, I actually don't even care if there's a hair in my food. I don't food. give a fuck. Dude. You can't get sick from someone's hair, I'm almost certain. I can't imagine well, you would get sick from someone's shower. Hair. It's not really. It's not pleasant to pull a hair out of no. your mouth when you're eating. No. But if I see a hair, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I just. I don't care. Yeah. I mean, maybe if it's like a pube. Albie, can you Google this? Can you get sick from someone's hair in your food? Because I feel like that's not a thing. I I, I, I don't want to make can't. that bold. But if it was really dirty hair too, yeah, I see what mm-hmm. I was saying. Eating a hair. What if you got your Hep C on your hair? Okay, 10 to 20% of individuals end up eating their hair condition. Oh, pff, pff, that is not. Okay, eating a hair in your food. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get sick from eating. No, you just get a hairball, dude. It poses a physical risk as a person can choke. It can get stuck in the throat, cause nausea. You can vomiting. choke on a piece of hair, dude. <laughs> you can get staff. Welcome what? to the snowflake worst. generation. <sighs> staph infection from a human scalp? Whoa. Dude, I got to stop eating people's hair. That's crazy. You gotta stop licking your girlfriend's head. I gotta stop going like this. Wow. Okay, so never mind. Don't listen to me at all. If you see a, yeah. but but, I feel like it's probably like negligible, right? The amount of people that get sick from it. 
Did they say like 20%? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, that was something else. But you know like, there's like a certain legal amount of like rat feces that's allowed in yes. every box of cereal and yes. stuff like that. And bugs. Yeah. And uh, wood chips in Parmesan cheese. As long as it's like less than 1% bug, it's okay. Well, guys, it's that time. Is that our time? That is our time. Okay, well, you know what? What was sadder? Lion King? Don't forget that you are legally mandated to like and subscribe. Yeah, what, what's sadder? Lion King or us ending this episode right now? Bye. Find out next week on the next podcast.